hi guys so in this video i made a mistake last week and it cost me over 800 dollars in, in in my trade last week so um i want to show you the mistakes and how you can avoid it in your own trades whenever you are taking trades how you can avoid those kind of mistakes okay but before then there is something i want you to know okay i want you to have it at the back of your mind that there is no strategy out there, no strategy that can prevent you from losses. You will surely do trade. But you know the problem that a lot of traders have, why they are not profitable. It is the fact that they are unable to manage their emotions when they look when they lose trades. You know, their inability to accept the loss and move on. Okay? Their inability to just accept it. As a result, a lot of traders will start doubling their loss size just to recoup their losses and also make profits. Some of them, as soon as the market goes against them, they will not be, they, they, they will decide to enter again without waiting to see what the price is going to do again. They shall want to make sure that that same trade give them their profits and they recoup their losses at the same time. If you are in this uh, category, okay, if you are in this classified set of traders who behave like this, I tell you, you are not going to make profit. No matter the strategy you learn, you are not going to make money. You are not. But now the thing is this, when a situation like that happens, what is the next thing for you to do? What are you supposed to do? Okay, I will tell you what I, the mistakes I made. And I'm, how you are going to avoid it but let me just finish with this so when you lose street okay you need to ask yourself a question after that okay what did i do wrong why did i predict that this trade is going to go sell and it went by those are the questions you need to ask yourself after you lose some trades you need to question why the trade didn't go in your direction is there anything you do do you violate some of your rules or you miss some kind of fundamental or macroeconomic news. You know, these are the questions that you need to ask yourself. And when you keep asking your questions like this after you lose trade, I tell you, you are going to become professional because in the long run, you are going to know how to avoid some of these mistakes. You are going to get used to avoiding these mistakes. Okay, so let me just say, uh, don't let me waste your time. I will take you to my computer screen and show you two of those trees that I took that cost me uh, the, the, let me say, the, the loss, uh, GBPCHF and EuroCHF. And I'm going to tell you why. And I will tell you how to avoid those mistakes. Okay? Uh, funny enough, let me say this before we go to my computer screen. When you trade, uh, the fact that I sell because I sold the, the GBPCHF and EOCHF, that was what I did last week. I sold them, but the fact that I sold them last week and it went by doesn't mean that I'm going to change my bias yet. Because after the losses, I went back to analyze and see to confirm things. Okay, so then I was able to realize that I entered the trades too early. Okay, so, um I will go to my computer screen and show you all these things now. Okay, so now we are on my screen. So this is the mistake that I made. And this is how you need to avoid them. Uh, such mistakes. So when the market was here, when it formed this double top here, this double top, because it wasn't three top. When I enter, it was double tops. Yeah, that was when I shot this. After this green candle, after this red candle closes, that was when I enter. But instead, it formed three tops, so I was still hoping, okay, the market is ranging, probably it's still going to drop. But the market didn't drop. What happened was that it started buying instead, as you can see. Then, started asking myself questions like, okay, what is actually going on? The market ought to stop here. But I'm missing one thing. Because I usually do higher, um, um, top down analysis, I have done. I've done the analysis for my higher time frame. So when I was entering, I didn't bother looking at the higher time frame. I didn't bother looking at uh, any of the higher time frame. I just, from four hours, since I know what the whole analysis was, 
So I just sold the market. But what you need to understand is that the mistake I made is that honorarily I ought to at least check daily. That will give me all this movement that happens here, all this movement, all this recent movement that happened. It will let me see clearly what is actually going on. Okay. You understand if you are doing top down analysis, you need to understand that top down analysis, when you do it, you don't necessarily have to do it every time. Okay. As soon as you do it, you don't necessarily have to go back and do it again since you understand what is actually going on regarding the assets where you carried out the top down analysis. But the any time you want to trade, you want to check the daily time frame. Okay. I'm talking to people who use four hours and entry a swing trader like swing traders like me. If you are a daily trader, probably you use one hour, then you want to check four hours before you do anything. So the mistake I made is that when I was entering this trade last week, I didn't check daily time frame to see this whole picture clearly. And now if you go to daily, okay, you will see that this whole movement is an impossible move. What is going on here is a, is a, a retracement. And when a retracement happens like that, most of the times, when the retracement is going to end, it's going to be at golden zone retracement, Fibonacci golden zone retracement. Before we continue with the video, I actually want to tell you that if you want to take my course, if you want to take my course, if you want to learn everything about my strategy, if you want to become a profitable trader, uh, check the link in my description. There is a link to my, the, 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 the link to my course is there. Uh, profit strategy course. The link to it is there. If you can work, if you can uh, take up this course, you must you study everything in there. I can tell you, you are going to be profitable. This is my own contribution to humanity, and I'm going to keep doing it because I know there are people who appreciate it, and that is even the reason why I have put all my strategy into the course. So if you are interested, grab the course. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe and like the video. So let's quickly get back to the main thing. Let's get back to uh, what we were doing. Okay, which is about 54. Uh, as um, as uh, these people used to call it, SMC Trader, the premium, like in this case now, it's going to be at the premium price. That is when they want to sell. Okay, but don't let me use uh, SMC technology here. So basically, at least go to zone retracement. That is what when the market is most likely to, to come down. So I did see all these things. Look at where I entered. I, this is where I sold the market. You can see here. This is where I sold. But normally, this is not 50 zero zone. I ought to at least wait for this market to retrace deeply into at least somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Okay. And do you know the funny thing? When I enter here, this thing is not resting on any significant resistance. There is no significant, no significant resistance on all supports. Unlike this one, you can see what is going on here. There is the market touch it here, touch it here, use it as support here, use it as support here, use it as support here. Then if you stretch back to it as it is used as resistance here many times. So I didn't look at all these things. I just jump into the market. Okay. This is one thing you don't want to do. At least come to daily to see what's actually going on at the moment. Okay, so now. What I want to be looking out for is the price. So the price here to show me something, then I will short the market. Okay. So when you want to, so the bottom line, the mistake here is not looking at a higher time frame, like immediate higher time frame before you enter. So before you enter any trade, check the immediate higher time frame daily before you do that. Like every day before you do, before you enter, you want to do that every day. Okay. But you don't necessarily have to check from uh, monthly time frame like I used to do on a daily basis. No, my analysis from top monthly time frame is done once a while, like probably uh, uh, in every two weeks. But every weekend, I try to see this daily. I try to check daily then four hour. Most times I just check weekly. That is why you see weekly here. Sometimes I just start from weekly. That is if I'm doing uh, my analysis every week. I mean check from weekly daily then four hour to see my entry. But well, last week, I didn't check the higher time frame because I believe the previous week I've done all necessary things. So I didn't pay attention. So I just enter on four hours. I just enter the market around here. Whereas the market hasn't actually retraced to where it ought to have to, to where it ought to retrace to. So that was the mistake I made. 
and that is one thing i want you to avoid as a trader try to always check your higher time frame so this is what I, I want to show you and i want you to pay attention to it don't make mistakes uh, uh when mistake is always bound to happen but try as much as possible to to reduce your level of mistakes okay so this is what i have for you so see you in my next video uh if you want my mentorship uh my mentorship um you want to join my mentorship program try to check just check my bio you see my telegram link there you can just uh click on that okay so see you in my next video bye for now